can do this. Well, hey there! I did not know the Historical Shithead Society was in town. What did you just say to me? Loot it and leave it. That's my motto. Well, if Queen Sandra is half as inbred as she sounds, then she's my kind of lady. You'll pay for that! Your mother was a gopher and your father smells of body spray. Hey! Open up! So I can teach this old fart a lesson! Back for mercy! Hey! Tin Man! I'm not the bad guy!
Okay, well, that's just that. Now, Vic seemed to think the outbreak is out of the mall's front end. I will check that. Okay, well, that just happened. Now, Vic seemed to think the outbreak started at the mall's front entrance. Better go check it out. Lying around. Bad, I just killed everyone who knows the entry code. It is amazing how useful this filter is.
Well, set my balls on fire. What the shit happened here? What the hell am I even looking at? Says all these people were lined up for the big Black Friday sale. Let's see how more they bargained for. These military assholes were investigating what happened here. Soldiers didn't do this. And the zombies definitely didn't do this. So what the hell is going on here? Oh my god. Look at this. I've been trying to get in here for weeks. Holy shit. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Get out of here. Calm down, pal. There's plenty to go around. Hey, buddy! My scene. Beat it. Oh, you're Frank West. You, you're the hero of Willamette. Look, hey, man, name's Darcy. We should totally work together, you know? Share the story. Right. Seriously. Hey, oh, you have to meet my girlfriend. Uh, I mean, editor, Paula. She's, she's got a podcast, this really popular podcast. She's been investigating these Obscurus guys for weeks. Obscurus? That's the name of this outfit? Yeah. Paula's an expert on them. You know, actually, I would love to meet your girlfriend. Where is she? Uh, I, I think she's at City Hall in Old Town. Yeah, I, go talk to her. <laughs> Shit. I can't wait to see her face when she hears I got Frank West working for us. Damn! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. See you around. Well, Willamette, you're certainly still full of surprises. So this guy, Brad Park, director of CDC, says there's an outbreak in Willamette, and little Vicky Chu is already there, getting the scoop. My scoop. So, we're flying over Willamette. Wham! Rocket hits us. I quickly learned two things. One, Vic's been here for goddamn weeks. She took an interest in this paramilitary group and the goings-on at the mall's front entrance, which, and this is the second thing I learned, turns out to be the bloodiest, ugliest, weirdest thing I have ever seen. Page material, depending on the publication. So Obscurus isn't the only act in town, but they sure ain't handing out blankets either. So I'm heading into Willamette. Fingers crossed.
Willamette. Yes, though I also answer to Hey Asshole or Frank Who. Yeah, I'm Paula, as in the undead gospel of It's My Zombie Podcast. Dawson gave me your number. Oh, brother. So, uh, I hear you have something for me? Yeah, meet me at the archives department at City Hall. Hey, Doors around you. back. And Come Frank, over here and give me a I hand with something. God damn, my fans are weird. There's like a million zombies out there. And I'm gonna drive through them. Help me out for a second? Uh, with what? We're gonna get creative. Grab that blueprint, will ya? All right, let's put this baby together. Wow, you've never done this before, have you? I only took shop class to meet girls. Well, I think my chances are better on my own. All right, here, you give it a try. Uh, thanks. What ifs? I'll open the gate for you. May as well roll up to City Hall in style. Looks like Obscurus was here. Should have out in a hurry. Alright, follow us at the door around the back. Psst! Frank! Over here! Are you Darcy's girlfriend? What's going on here? I'm his editor, and this was a major Obscurus outpost until 40 minutes ago. Wait a minute. You're Paula? You sound totally different on the radio. Oh, yeah, that's my character. Character? Yeah, I realize no one listens to me unless I'm yelling all the time. And also, it's kind of fun. Uh... So, if you're ready to listen, maybe you should look around and see what Obscurus was doing here. Right. I will. Thank you. Flip car, car on a roof. Do you know what these are? A trail of destruction. And Obscurus was following it. Can't see anything in here. It says they have a reconnaissance outpost at the top of Dodd's drugstore. And just what are the reconnoitering? Where is my notebook? Fire cameras have been gutted, buddy. Maybe they missed something.
They moved fast. I bet they left some files behind. Hey, Brad. So, our mercenary friends are calling themselves obscurity. These types don't usually keep the same name from off to off. But I'll look into it. Speaking of off, I think they're running a manhunt or possibly some other kind of... Get here out. Will do. Drugs. The outpost must be on the second floor. Now I just gotta. Ah! <laughs> 
What do we got? Holy shit. No zombie could have done this. Or at least I hope not. Can't quite make up a subject here. There's a key.
Large game tranquilizers. Some of these are empty. Whatever they're hunting, I think it's hunting them back. Pull back. The order is to fall back. Do not engage. 
Sounds like they're fighting something. I wonder if I can listen in. What the hell are you guys after? Huh. Guess I know where I'm headed next. Hey, it's Paula. While you're out there, I need you to run down a few stories for the podcast. If I get around. Hi, I'm sending you what I got. Now go forth, Apostle Frank. I'll call you later. <laughs> Must have been chased off. Where? <laughs> now good. Frank, are you responsible enough to wear one of these? That's good.
Right, this was supposed to be a fallback point for obscure, so who brought all the zombies? Or what? I need a different approach. Four outposts, City Hall, the drugstore apartment, the fire hall, and the junkyard. Come on, Frank. Somebody ate his face skin off and hung him here.
nice. I gotta be missing something. It says over a hundred soldiers have died hunting this thing? Son of a bitch. I need to get to the junkyard. Whatever this thing is, it's got a real hate on for obscurus. I was, uh, just about to call you. Shh! The junkyard is crawling with obscure soldiers! Yeah, I was just gonna... Hey! Why don't you stay here and cover me? Yeah? Good call. I got your back. Lovely. Yeah. 
Make it quick. You were attacked by an armed group yesterday. They killed two of men. One was a man, the other a woman. Ten your officers and friends. I know where they're gonna hit you next. I know how many are going. I know the name of the leader. I know where they hide their food. With that kind of information, it could prevent a lot of unnecessary death. What do you want? Thirty minutes off the record. What the hell are you doing, Vic? Commander, I found this civilian messing around with one of our computers. Put him under watch. Get him a meal and a shower. He stinks like shit. Yes, sir. All right, Miss Chu, you can ask your questions. Lieutenant, she's coming with us. What are you getting yourself into, Vic? Mr. West! It's a shame you're not proving as useful as your friend. Take care of him. <laughs> Just another dirty peeping cop! Hey now, come on, let's just sit down and talk about this, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Scoop on me by cozying up with the creeps? Frank, over here. Those bastards took Darcy. You see which way they went? Westridge, I think. You're going after them, right? You'll save Darcy? Uh, probably, but not on purpose. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can figure out where they were going. You go. I'll call you when I have something. <sighs> All right, I'm getting tired of shooting early. I need to focus on what's going on here. You freak! Maybe I should check that out. Hey, Brad. Obscurus is hunting something. I honestly think it's some kind of horrible zombie monster. Monster? Are you serious? Yeah, I think it's whatever attacked the mall. I'm off to Westridge to track it. I'll talk to you later. Wait, Frank. Tell me. Hello, Paula. Frank, Obscurus has set a trap at the dam. They're gonna catch it there. Really? This shit I gotta see. Talk later. Wait, Frank, tell me. I'm so bummed and getting drunk. Still, we have fun. There's nothing sure. Let's go reach out and forget later. In the meantime, in the meantime, ain't we got fun? Meow, meow, meow. 
I don't think I'll include that one in my next book.
What's your business here? What? What in the hell are you doing here, boy? What the hell are you talking about? What am I doing here? These pig smelling idiots drugged and dragged me here. That's what I'm doing here. Hmm. You a photographer? Yes, I work for National Geographic. They sent me up here to shoot the local indigenous vermin. Oh, look, I found you all. <laughs> Great. Two. No food, they send us two goddamn reporters. Whoa, 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 wait. Vic? Was Vic here? She with you? Not really, but I'm kind of her professor. So you got pull with her? Theoretically, yes. Listen. We ain't nothing but good, honest people here. Before this, I was a rancher. I mean, plumber, auction caller, a butcher. Now with soldiers. Frank! world ain't the same place. You want to stay in Willamette? You want to take your pictures? You're gonna have to be a soldier too. My soldier. This... this Vic bitch? I took her in. Shared our supplies with her. Then she wanted nothing but questions. All about our raids on these military assholes. What? Where? How many weapons we got? I thought she wanted in. I thought she wanted in. Now, now my raiders are out there pinned down in a goddamn ambush because they knew that we was coming. Okay, okay, I get the problem. I can deal with Vic, all right? But I need something from you in return. Don't everyone? <laughs> I need into that dam. Uh. Now listen to me. These people are up to something, okay? I need to find out what it is. Well, Frank. Only one who might know her way into that dam is my engineer Hammond. She was leading that raid. The one that your little buddy sold us upriver on. Listen, I'm your best option, okay? Let me go and deal with this. <laughs> hmm. Huh. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let's. But hey. Don't fuck this up, West. You're one of mine now. Give him the details. West! Over here, let's talk. West, let's go. We gotta help our people. All right, uh, all right. W what's the story? Hammond took a few of hers up to Willamette Junior High. Obscurus has them pinned down. No shots fired yet, but that won't last. I don't get it. Why are you guys poking that particular badger? There's got to be other supplies you could be going after. Tom wants to send a message. I get that impression. Look, later then.
so... Look, Hammond's capable, but she can't hold out for long. You better get up there fast or else Tom will want to poke you next, you hear me? Right. The junior high. I'm on my way. Tom can keep his pokers to himself, thanks. something else right now, okay? I'll talk to you later. Come on, professor. Sounds like someone fired the first shot. Hang on, engineer. You're my golden ticket. Frank West, photojournalist. Ah, should have guessed it. Now hurry up. <sighs> guys, god damn it. Frank, uh, yeah. these guys need medical attention. Can you keep up Spiros off us? Uh, sure. You play Thor's yeah. Nightingale, I'll be Rambo. Uh, and when this is over, we can switch. How about I just owe you one instead? So you can handle yourself. Yeah, yeah, I covered some wars. Really? Which ones? Uh, listen, Tom said you could get me into the dam. Huh, Tom, right. <laughs> City keys. We're on the side of the dam, there's a service door. That should get you in. How did you get the keys to the city? Well, before everything went to shit, I was the city's chief engineer. Pretty much have the whole place memorized. Huh. And you're just gonna give these to me? Yeah, I talked to Vic. She said you were around for the first outbreak. Yeah. Yeah, I was. What else did she say? Well, there was some other stuff. Right. Well, on that note... Oh, hey! Hold up! Uh, my guys have taken a hit. They need a ride back to Tom. Yeah, sorry. Wish I could. Had things to do. <sighs> huh. He really is an asshole.
Hey, Frank, you still breathing? Yeah, I got tied up in something. You're the calm Picton. Local dairy farmer turned resistance leader. One of his people, Hammond. She's helping me get into the dam where Obscurus set a trap for the monster. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll keep an ear on their radio channels. See what turns up. That'd be a real help, Brad. Thank you. Frank, I just got some analysis back on the reading. This outbreak is immune to the vaccine and to Zombrex. Holy shit. A new strain. An old one. Santa Cabeza old. So don't get bit. I'll take it under serious advice.
All right. Let's see what damning evidence you're hiding. <laughs> in there I am um, I can't see you hey, hey, there's a light in the corner turn it on Talking? That's not right. You make a note of this for later. I need to take some notes. Oh my god, Frank! Hey Darcy, how's it going? You in a little over your head, huh? You came to rescue me? You really are the savior of Willamette. Uh, did you guys make that up, or is there a cult somewhere I should be leading? No, oh man, no, no, Obscurus is in a panic about this monster. I think they know something about it. Something we don't. Yeah. You see, they're a highly funded military contractor, while you... You write for your girlfriend's blog. Hey, there's gotta be something useful in here. I think it's a briefing room. Hey, come on, ah, untie me. No, 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 you just regain your strength. I got this. All right, what do we got? Calder. What is that, an acronym? Project? Name? I'm not sure, but they're terrified of it. It it's killed their men, and it wants more. This is before the outbreak occurred. Holy shit. I, I bet they created it, like, like in a secret This lab. is a request to send more exosuits to Willamette. For heavy combat. This monster's too fast, too strong for regular weapons. 
And it's moving through the sewers, so they lured it here to catch it. I can sh- Where? Uh, uh, I'm tiny. Quick, we'll go together. What was that? The monster. Frank, hey, come on. Get me out of here. Sit tight, Darcy. You'll be safe here. Probably. What? Hey, hey, you can't leave me here. Come on, man. Hey, hey, wait. Frank! Ooh. Never interviewed a monster before. That's a hell of an exclusive. You see that? Keep your eyes open. No. Need cover.
In Old Town, I learned that Obscurus was hunting something. And whatever the hell it is, it's hunting them back. Speaking of psychos, Vic's been up to no good. Caught her selling out survivors in exchange for an exclusive with the Obscurus commander. She's even crazier than I thought. But not as crazy as the wingnut Tom picked, and he takes the cake. Ex-dairy farmer turned fascist. Yeah, we're BFS now. His engineer, Hammond, gave me a key to the dam. That's where Obscurus lured this thing. She seems cool. We're BFFs now. I caught up to Obscurus just in time to see them ship out this Calder. Whatever the hell that is. So now I'm going after them. Find out who or what this Calder is and why Obscurus is so hell-bent on getting a hold of it. chatter on Obscurus channels. What's this about a convoy? Obscurus caught the monster and they're moving it by truck. I'm going after him. Patch into the radio chatter. Should help your pursuit. Something else. I think Calder might be the monster's name. That sounds like a man, not a monster. I'll look into it. I'm trying to engage! Fall back! Get out of there! Help us, bud! You need to get the hell out of there! Sounds like someone's attacking the convoy. Can you tell me who? I don't know. Maybe Tom's been? Pretty gutsy for a bunch of farmers. We got one! Wait for the crosswalk, jackass!
Brad, I found the container truck. There's something not right, though. I'm gonna investigate. Don't get eaten, Frank. Good advice. Thank you for that. Hey, you! Lend a hand, will ya? Oh, God. You're Frank West. Look, uh, I'm in bad shape here. I need morphine. There's some at the North Peak safe house. If you grab me a few hits, I'll tell you what we were hauling. Deal? Deal? All right, all right. I'll think about it. Fine, just hurry. Frank, it's Paula. I got some more interesting leads from you. Sending you the details now. Have to stand beneath the And when I'm with my darling on this holiday, the worries of the Make sure you stock up.
you chip the paint! In this bad space, the five world, it can be difficult to remember. So this Christmas, head to McLean Portrait Studio and capture the memories. Be sure to catch our Black Friday Memorial Special. It's too good to ignore. West. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't see so good. Oh, yeah. You're a good man, West. But look, I, I can't tell you what we were hauling. But I can say the command, they were calling it a recovery op. We were shipping it out of town for R&D purposes. Interesting. Okay, if you find a blanket or some booze, yeah, just... All right, now what the hell is going on here? Well, look at this. My friends from Old Town are back. So, who took out the convoy? I have absolutely no idea. But whatever it is, it's Godzilla strong, has friends, and sports a serious hate on for Obscurus. I'm gonna... What was that? My Pulitzer. Gotta go. Now, where did you run out? I'm seeing train cars strewn everywhere. You think Calder did that? God, I hope so. I am stunning down the van.
trail leads into the old sewer tunnels. Brad, you there? Don't worry, Frank. Nothing bad ever happens in the sewers, right? Well, he's staying on going the right way. Is this going to be an on-the-record conversation, Dr. Blackburn? Tell the ZDC I want to be evacuated by helicopter in the next 48 hours. In exchange, I have information. I'll see what I can do. Until then, why don't you whet my appetite a little? I didn't start the outbreak, Mr. West. We were here long before that. Years before. Do you remember a certain scientist by the name of... Doctor? Dr. Blackburn. Hmm. That does not sound good. Frank, I just got word that people are being held prisoner at the pirate ship in Caribbean Cove. Better go check it out, in case they do something crazy. This should be interesting.
Don't say I never did nothing for you. It's too much! Hey Brad, can you arrange a Cobra evac for an obscure scientist? That would be my pleasure. In the meantime, I caught another one of Vic's reports. Take a listen. Heard the ambush ended with gunfire. I have no idea if Hammond made it out alive. The end justifies the
Well, I am definitely not conspiring with a paramilitary group. Not doing that, Vic. That's not what I'm doing. And I'm not torturing a woman for a quote while a bunch of trigger-happy jarheads guard the door. I'm not doing that either. That's Get not what I'm here. Get up! That's not what I'm doing. What are you doing? Because I'm having a hard time seeing it. I am trying to figure out who these soldiers are working for, how the outbreak began, and what these assholes did. You sold out Hammond and her people. They almost got killed. Do you know that? Are you aware of that? The commander issued a no-kill order, and then Tom's people attacked first. And you believe that? How fucking naive are you? Hello? Shut it! No, 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 I know what this is about. You're trying to get the big story, right? The big scoop. <laughs> this is what this is all about for you, isn't it? Just take what you want and cash the check. Get out of here, Pookie. Poacher. That's all you'll ever be. We need to get out of here. They could come back. Who was that? Friend of yours? Just some troubled youth. What do you want to tell me? Our research at Obscurus, it's all based on a project that was abandoned 15 years ago. Fifteen years? That's back to the original outbreak. Yes, this project was performed at a secret laboratory hidden somewhere here, in Willamette. And let me guess, Obscurus has been looking for this secret laboratory. Obsessively. The work that's on there, it has the potential to change the very nature of human existence. Wow, shit. Here, look. Take a picture if you want. That's Dr. Barnaby. He basically created zombieism. The secret laboratory and the research project were both his, and both were abandoned on his death in 2006. You know where the lab is, don't you? We were colleagues for years. I swear on the soul of my SLR, if you tell me where the lab is, I will buy you a helicopter. Then go to the Golden Apple Winery. Barnaby built it as a front to hide the lab. Look in the cellar. I'll do that. But I have one more question, Dr. Blackburn. What's with the cat? What? Oh, he loved that fucking cat. Now listen. All the fighting will have attracted the horde. There's an exosuit in the other room. Put it on and draw them off so I can escape. Go. Oh, I think this one. Ah! Oh, yeah! Go on, Mr. West. You need to draw them off. Oh yeah, now we're playing with power. Talk about an arms race. <laughs> You'll find what you're looking for in that lab.
evidence we've been looking for. Roger. You are good! I am too busy for this shit! Nothing up here. Now, if I were a secret lab, where would I be? Well, Commander Fountainhead was about as useful as you think. I'm sure 99% of it was Tried to blame it on Frank and me and yada yada yada. Total bitch face. But she also said the directing scientist died at Ground Zero. Dr. Diane Blackburn. Thing is, I have eyewitness accounts that Blackburn is still alive. Or that she survived the outbreak. Which means Fontana is trying to keep me from getting to her. Which means I'm just gonna have to look even harder. Aren't I? Oh, man. What the hell happened over there? Promising. Welcome back, Dr. Barnaby. It has been 4,928 days since your last entry. Hey, Brad, I found the lab. Obscurus was already here, though. Did they leave anything behind? I'm locked. Well, check this out later, I guess.
files are all gone. Shit! There we go. Mr. Flamel, what the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> I guess Barnaby really did love his cat. Barbie's computer stuff. Maybe I'd love to get my hands on that. Damn it. It looks like Obscura's confiscated everything. Makes sense. They keep it in some kind of intelligence lockup. Probably at the base. Oh, right. So all I need to do is penetrate a fortress filled with trained assassins and steal their shit. Great. Well, hold on. There's another door. I wonder. F L A M E L. Barnaby, you huge idiot. Holy shit. Okay, pictures.
Calder. I don't know what it is. Big, that's for sure. And it's got friends. Some kind of new zombie, smart zombie, murder zombie? I don't know. Note to self, come up with a better name than murder zombie. Then I was contacted by Dr. Diane Blackburn, an obscure scientist and a one-time associate of Dr. Barnaby. Yeah, you remember that old fruit, right? Basically invented zombieism? Died years back in the original Willamette outbreak? His personal notes and research were never found. Blackburn told me about a secret lab up at the Golden Apple Winery. I checked it out. Weird science, weird zombies, weird, weird, and more weird. Basically, I got nothing for it. Obscurus had already taken all of Barnaby's files. Whatever he was working on, Obscurus wanted it bad. Real bad. And that means it's got to be real good. All right, I need to get Barnaby's research back from Obscurus. Damn it, it's break wet. Yeah, look, I need your help breaking to the Obscurus base? We're well, busy right now, Frank. Oh, come on, it'll take what, an hour, Tops? Why are you whispering? You want to talk? Come find me in West Ridge, in the big houses. I'm off the radar. Talk later. Wait, wait, which, which house? Damn it. Great. I'll be knocking on some doors. Yo, Frank, just heard some more rumors about weird shit going on in your area. Perfect for the undead gospel. Get a look if you can.
reasons why I hate organized sports. Uh -huh, Take care uh -huh. of it. I'm with it. Good. You see, the Illuminati are totally in bed with corporate sporting, which drives off the... Ow! Damn it! Got a paper cut from my flow chart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hammond's gotta be in one of these houses, but which one? That's gotta be him. Hey. What happened to you? Tom blamed me for the raid, even though he knew it wasn't our fault. He's insane. He's locked people in the cellar, he's banished people, he's put people on trial like he's Henry VIII. And then there's these rumors of people disappearing without a trace. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill him. And I'm hoping you're gonna help. So what's first? There's a village on Tom's farm. We need to get them somewhere safe. I'll take care of it. You just get me into that base. We're on it. All due respect, boss, but mounting a siege isn't exactly our style. We'll get slaughtered. Think positive, Connie. I'm positive we'll get slaughtered. Leave the base to me and Jordan. You three, focus on the evacuation. I saw a couple of buses out by the mall. We could use those to move people. Good idea. Jessa, could you get them running? Yeah, I'll work my magic. That bitch will be locked and loaded. Yeah, and I'll get some salvage to reinforce the exterior. Oh, that's nice. Tank bus! Connie. I need you to do something for me. Do not put me on water duty. The well's contaminated. This is high school football. Oh.
Hard ass, I shoot her out. Uh huh. Call me when you cleared out that pool hall. We got some trouble in paradise, Brad. Hammond needs my help in a coup against Tom. Huh. Let me know where that goes. My apostles say there's a mysterious cult around town, pretending to take in survivors. Okay, this sounds sort of pertinent. I don't want to know what they actually do with them. Look into it, but be careful. Another day, another pool hall filled with zombies. That's your cue to die! Get it? Cue to die? Zombie arm, corner pocket. Back him. zombie free. Great. We'll start moving the people over there. I'll meet you outside the base. <sighs> this post-apocalyptic part of this is really working for me. There you are. Grab that package and we'll get started. Jar has it a piss poor job on this wall, so we're gonna blow it up. Look for a weak spot with that fancy camera of yours. Good. Now set the charge and get clear. Just staring at... Now get clear, Frank. I said get clear! God damn, not exactly subtle. You said you wanted in. 
You're in. Couldn't we do something about this alarm? Not yet. So keep moving. I need to get into that control room first. This is my stop. I'll be locked at the door. Don't worry about me. Okay. I've limited security access from here. I've opened the room one door over. Go see if there's anything you can use. I've got an exosuit! Wow, good for you. Now destroy the comm tower so they can't call reinforcements. Jeez, is that all? How am I supposed to do that exactly? You're in a robot suit, you figure it out. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs>
Stop that generator, Frank. I don't got all day. One Hammond. Good luck, Frank. Give Fontana hell. All right, I need to find Barnaby's research. Brad said it'd be in some kind of intelligence lockup. Gonna need to look around. West, I intercepted another one of Vic's reports. Fine, play it. Frank is back in Willamette, and surprise, he brought a stupid smug face with him. <laughs> you know. For a second, I was actually glad to see him. I thought, finally, together we'll make some progress. Once he sees how the people are doing, he'll... You know what? Never mind. Screw that guy. You know what? I'm a little ready. If you like. Research facility, huh? Based off the work of the late great Dr. Barnaby, perhaps? Uh, that's not right. Just gotta line it up. That's not right. Come on, be a pro. Ugh, no test subject quite like a lab. Hey there, little guy. Come on, Frank. Commander Fontana has reviewed all progress on Project Saturn. No addressee. Right, because that'd be too easy.
brain teasers? What, are you gonna send them to college? That all the stuff we took from Barnum's lab will be in some kind of intel lockup, which is somewhere else. Okay, gotta keep looking. Lockdown terminated. Have a nice day. Screw you, Gar! Smell zombie. You gotta clear him out. Enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's so so. All right, I got them all. Now where's this intel lock? God damn, there must be thousands of files here. There we go, Barnaby's missing computer stuff. Retrieved by Recon Team Nova 6. What is that? There we go, the missing files all stamped November 25th. No good. No 
Nope. I gotta line this up better. Oh, this is part of the treatment chamber I saw in Barnaby's lab. The tag has coordinates. So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the date I need to find the right info. Remember? Yes! Oh, 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 yes! You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm going to take you to a computer and watch you so hard. Now, let's see. Doing? Oh, damn. Guess you ought to be more careful next time. What happened? You got my way. Power coming on. All right. Anson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas, inventory. Pick it, tag it, cat it. Roger that. We'll call it. Get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on. It. Caesar team is inbound. They're gonna be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out. You hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. The body was cremated at 1500 hours by seventh failure. And then. September 19th, 2006. Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Containment leak, maybe? I just... I don't know. The experiment was incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into my Good. primary storage. Good. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undeath, they call it. <laughs> the world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay, the bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires, never sickens, never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well, I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar. Perhaps an employee or a citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, it's likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last-ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, caused untold death. <laughs> Get out of there! Move it! Move! 
Montana, you don't scare me. I know who started the outbreak. It was Calder, one of your soldiers. Charlie Squad, redeploy to the basement. Flush him out. I gotta get the hell out of here. Locked! Ugh. There's gotta be a way out of here. How the hell do you obscurus troops get around? What have we here? Ugh. But the cliff notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? Trapped! Monster asshole! Fontana, talk later! Oh, oh man, that's a lot of steps. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. <sighs> I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnabas' research. Parlay zombieism into some kind of immortality treatment. You're trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first, the client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. You plan to make soldiers, are you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. Are you out of your mind? You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, unskilled labor exported to whoever's buying. all about this with these guys. Yeah, and well, who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. You're wasting my time! And everyone will know what you're up to!
Bring yourself, Sarah. Wolves take care of their back, West. Obscurus had what I needed, so Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was, well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves, which is multiple shades of gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever, because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's the punchline. I gotta get out of this death trap and find Calder. I need that hard drive. Oh God! Somebody, please help! Thank you. I never shot anyone, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out of here before I change my mind. I will. Hammond, I swear. I hope Hammond's coup is a lot less bloody than this. Guess that's it for obscure. Together, Hammond. I'm not gonna leave you hanging. You can fly!
shelter in Westridge. I'm heading there now. Hammond's coup failed. What's wrong with the shelter? It's in lockdown, but something's not right. Check it out, then call me. Damn it! Why can't zombie outbreaks ever be simple? This place is out of control. Gotta find some higher ground, get a better look. Those aren't zombies. No good. What the hell, Frank? Come on, be a pro. No good. Too far away. Well, I have zero interest in a free defibrillation, thanks. Brad, flashing orange light. What do they mean? Override lockdown. Nothing gets in or out until the system is reset. There's a panel around back. Hit the reset switch and the exterior doors will open. And that's what I gotta do. Hold on. What about Calder? Saving Hammond won't get you that fuel. Uh, yeah, I know, Brad. I owe her one, alright? Alright, open sesame, shithead. Systems reset, Frank. Get in there fast, or the zombies will get to Hammond before you do. Oh shit, I hadn't thought about that. <sighs> Got a bullet with your name on it! Oh, yeah. Go! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alvin, I'm here to rescue you! Call 
Honor? Uh, no idea, but I'll take care of it. Hey, uh, Brad, there are a lot of zombies in here. No kidding. There'll be three doors. You'll need to shut them from the inside. Gotta get to Hammond! This is a freaking death trap! Anyone? Anyone? I Anyone? <laughs> I'd cry with relief, but I need to focus on not pissing myself. God, I hope Hammond's all right. What do you mean? She's not here? Tom's people took her and Jordan. We tried to go back for her, but those hillbilly dicks hit the lockdown. Tom's probably holding her at the farm. I'll go check. Keep your radio on. I'll shout if I learn anything. Thanks, bud. Glad you're one of the good guys. It's I hard, but I have my surprise here. Hey, Frank. Thanks for rescuing my boyfriend's pathetic ass. It won't last Are long out there if you're not prepared. Just shush. I'm trying it out. Come on, man, we, you, gotta check on Hammond. We owe her everything. Hey, you can never be. Take care of yourself. Hey, listen, you want to survive, don't you? Hey, you want something? If I ever see Tom again, I'm gonna use the skull as a bowling ball. Girl, you're angry at Tom, not my femur. Calm down. I'm calm, asshole. See these hands? Steady. This is bullshit. Yeah, it's hard, but I have my. Hey, what can I do for you? Huh? Wonder what's in Maybe stock. Maybe something else. Make sure you just restocked. Hmm. Let's see here. Come back alive. Hammond said you were at the first outbreak. This always how it is. Things go tits up and everybody starts turning on each other? Hey, make sure you stock up, huh?
very sick. <laughs> Hang on, Hammond. I'm here to rescue you. Oh, shit, that did not sound good. <laughs> Hammond. Around. I'll check out the rest of the farm. Hammond, you hear? Ah! Is that music? Ah! Coming from his closet? Okay. That's, um... on the ground. One Machiavellian dairy farmer. What the? I've seen these before. This is what those whack job looters wear. Keys. I bet these open every door on the compound. So, this is what crazy looks like. Brad, Tom's gonna execute Hammond. He took her to that Kiffick cement factory in North Peak. Are you anywhere near there? I wouldn't make it in time, Frank. I need to get ZDC evacs for the civilians now that Obscurus is out of the way. Shit! It's up to me, then. What do you know? Frank West, the hero Willamette deserves. Yep, a shitty hero for America's shittiest town.
some kind of lunatic is hiding out in a building around there. Maybe I should check that out. We are of mind, young apostle. Only watch your ass. Those farms creep me right the hell out. Sounds like it's coming from the roof. We give of ourselves so that the group may live. And if someone won't do that, well, they're no better than a zombie. Today we review the misdeeds of our once trusted ally, who would destroy me out of ambition. Like a sapling growing out of cinders, we built our new community on the ruins of the old world. If I walk away now, Hammond's toast. If I walk away now, Hammond's toast. We aren't just building a community, we're building a new world order! Holy shit. If I walk away now, Hammond's toast. Away now, Hammond's toast. We need to protect ourselves from all that'll do us harm. Even them, we once called friends. If 
I walk away now, Hammond's toast. Execution will be our trial by fire. We'll destroy those who would see us fall. Under construction. Well, maybe I could just punch my way through. In this glorious new world, there's no room for neutral parties. No, sir, there are only my people and our enemies. Is that are the worst zombies ever, like the Hitlers of zombies.
Jade Hammond. Tom, no! For conspiring against your lord, look at me! And commandeering his rightful possessions and plotting his death! You think you're a leader? You're just a lunatic! What the? You are hereby sentenced to a beheading in accordance with the laws. Nut job! Set down by me! Bitch! Over here! Traitor! I saw right through you! Knew you were bad! Right from the start! She's dead, Tom! Uh. And you're next! And I, I was just trying to protect you. You're all my people. You needed my protection. You call that protection? You, you, you don't understand. Look, a father, he has to make choices for his children. Sometimes... Ah! 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 Nice. Fish bump. Seriously, come on. What, you know... Come on, everybody does it. It's like the end thing. I just have to kill a robot zombie marine, and Willamette will be its old self again. Wait, what? So, there's this zombie in an exosuit, and... Ah, oh, forget it. I need to blow a hole in the sewers. Okay. We can help you with that, at least. I'll have Jordan meet you down there. Thanks, Hammond. You're a real pal. Hey, Brad. I'm heading back to the sewers. Hammond's people are gonna clear the way for me. You see, this is what happens when you're not a dick all the time. Too bad you can't see what's in your hole.
What is this? Goodbye? You aren't coming with me? You said that zombie in an exosuit down there. Hell no! Just use your camera to find the weak spot. You've done it before, you'll be fine. <sighs> Alright, Brad, this is it. I'm going after Calder and getting that hard drive. Alright, evac choppers are inbound. And I have a message for you. So, hey, Frank. Someone's been accessing these files, and I have a feeling it's probably you. So, if you find my body, do me a favor. Try to put this on it. What the hell, Vic? I can get her on the radio. What's the point? The point is. To feds like me, there's nothing more dangerous in this world than a journalist who'd stop at nothing to bust my ass. And if there's two of them working together, shit. I think we're past that. We'll see. Would you like to be dropped?
If I didn't hear that, then at least I know he's ugly and deaf. Of all my bad ideas, this is definitely, definitely the worst. Can't tell my own ass from my elbow. Holy shit. Are they sleeping? Frank, what's going on? Are you there? Shut up, shut up! How do I turn this thing off? Frank? Listen, Holy even that's coming. Christmas. Expect updates.
passing through. Go! sell this to the highest bidder. This time we're gonna do it the right way. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Step away from the hard drive. Now! <sighs> Sorry, Frank. Bye. So, what? No more mini golf? Hammond needed me. Her tyrant had turned into a psychopath. So we took him down, and Hammond made sure he wouldn't be getting up again. In exchange, Hammond gave me the most important gift of all. Friendship. And more importantly, a big bomb to blast my way into Calder's lair. The sewers. Calder and his posse of creepy, smart zombies had turned them into some kind of den of spooky-ass shit. And Calder himself can talk. Whatever he's become, there's still a little bit of psycho douchebag human still in there. Naturally, I grabbed the intel and booked it. And that would have been where our story ended. Frank West, triumphant hero of Willamette, once again. Vic Chu. Thief. Hellspawn. She stole my evidence. She held a gun to my head, and now it's on. Vic stole my camera! She has the evidence! What? Then get it back! Great advice, Brad! This isn't over yet, rookie! Screw you, Frank! Yeah. Give me the goddamn camera! 
mean, another big problem! Remember me? I just thought we could talk about this. You hide behind glass. Take all you see. Claim this. Take that. Make it all yours. Give nothing back. All right, all right. A, a, a bit heavy, but I agree. I could do better. Tomorrow morning. Give me the camera back. I'm a new man tomorrow, I promise. You are part of the chain, Frank mm. West. And I must break the chain. I know. No, you, you did it. Man. God, I hate you. That's what I want. Okay. You know what? You hurt my student. You took my story. And now, you've blown up my favorite camera. So be it. Frank West was a zombie lord. Let's roll, weirdo. Go, right, Vic? Vic! Where the hell are you going? You left me! Again!
Master Tactician!
I need you at Kitaro Plaza. I need medical assistance now. Okay, come on. Stay with me, kid. Stay with me. everything. Camera and Barnaby servers are wiped and you blew the hard drive to a million pieces, so... <sighs> hey, um, you weren't really gonna shoot me, were you? No, we're fatal. Well, like, like the leg? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. Fair enough. I deserve that. But listen, if, uh, if it comes up again, you can aim for the right one. It's kind of a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> Frank. I, I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I've had worse. And so will you. That's kind of the shit you go through when you're a good journalist, right? about being a great journalist. What is that? An SD card? From your camera? You pulled it? Yeah. Before it blew up? Mm -hmm. Go on. What do you want for it? Oh, jeez. No, I mean it. I'll give you anything. All right. I want the story. My words, your pictures. Big coverage, big impact. Together, 50-50. Yeah, 50-50. I like the sounds of that. <laughs> ah. Plus mini golf. Oh man, not the mini golf. Yeah, okay. Mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you've sorted everything out, we need to get to the rendezvous point if we want to lift out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. Grab anything you need and let me know when you're ready to go. I'll get this gate open. So, did your heart grow three sizes this Christmas, Frank? Come on. We're good now, right? We're good? Let's publish this story. Save the world. Then we'll be good. You need to get out of Willamette first. Let's go.
so, Miss Chu. Normally, I'd have to arrest you for the shit you pulled. You'd have to catch me first, copper. Oh, jeez. <laughs> think you could be a journalist without drill attack? Then, think the government would stop destroying our lives? Then! on the roof of the parking garage. Just over the sky bridge. Oh, good! Nice and convenient! Did everyone get a souvenir? PTSD counts, right? It did for me. I think we pissed them off. Come on! Give me a second with this door. No, no, no! We don't have a second!
Ruffians! If Frank could have it his way, this is where the story would end. He'd die a hero, sacrificing himself for the good of his friends. He wouldn't need to follow it up to see the mess that unfolded in the months after. But Frank's not here to tell the story his way. 
He can't load it up with spicy embellishments. Listening to his notes, I kind of wonder how this story would have gone when he told it later. Would he have defeated Fontana in single combat? Refused to conspire with the evil Dr. Blackburn? Added a sweet romance with the city engineer? I'm sure his second book would have sold as well as his first. But Frank's not here to tell his story. So he's got to trust me to do it. Whether he wanted it that way or not. And I say, the truth is better than fiction.
yet It feels like Christmas time all through the year Christmas time all through the year. Oh, Willamette, please don't let me forget all the good times we've had right here. Snowmen and reindeer, candy canes and lollipops, holly jolly for everyone. So much snow, I hope it never stops. Yet it feels like Christmas time all through the year. Oh, Willamette, I won't let you forget all the good times we've had right here. Candles on the windowsill, Santa's helpers are on. Yet it feels like Christmas time all through the year. Like 
Christmas time all through the year.
of them yet It feels like Christmas time all through the year Christmas time all through the year. The flag indicator marks the hole, but the straightest shot isn't always the best shot. Use the right stick to aim your shot. Zoom camera with left bumper. Press Y to switch clubs. Use your driver for long-range shots. And then what? Come on, Bobby. Don't leave me hanging here. Oh, you tease! is merciless.
In this hole, scoring is only half the fun. The other half is wanton destruction. Uh, if anyone has seen a missing zombie, could you let me know? I sent Bob for coffee, but he hasn't come back, and I'm getting a little worried. Almost nailed it. Bob, a hole like this makes a man question everything he knows about human nature.
Today's winner gets a combo vehicle. Guaranteed to last until you crash it into the size of the elementary school. I hate to interrupt, Bob, but it looks like some golf is about to occur. Though in this part of town, I'd be surprised if the players made it five feet towards the green without getting eaten. Let's try that again. I like to see how they pull this one off.
Treatment is working. He's exhibiting numerous human qualities. Response to light, voice, heat, talking in his sleep. God heaven, just look at him. He's listening to us right now. He was eating people. We're not taking him, so just, just put him out of his misery. Meet me at the farm as soon as you can. Mr. West, I want to help you, but you have to show me you're still in there. There's a key hidden in the room. Use it to open this door. Come on, get up. Good, good. Now unlock the door. My God. Okay, listen to me. The Pentagon knows that Obscura screwed up. They're sending an airstrike to level the entire city and cover up this mess. I'll explain more later. Look, I think I might know a way to cure you. But right now, we have to get out of here before Hammond kills us both. Hey, West! Are you understanding any of this? <sighs> Could you just write it down? I think I missed something in the middle. You ass. You want to live? Follow my instructions. Leave the shelter by the upper door. Go! Now! <sighs> Keep going all the way to the end. I don't... I don't feel so hot. Probably a side effect of the treatment I administered. It also seems to have eliminated any of the benefits of your zombie state. But I have an idea about how you can get those back. Okay. The food court is just ahead. I wouldn't want to leave that laying around. Why are these zombies giving me shit? Hmm. They must think you're human now. Fascinating. Great. Great! Now everyone wants to kill me. Blackburn, where now? You'll want to take a left up there. We're heading to Kichiro Plaza. You should see it by now. Calder's body is still here. Can you see the swarming walk? Go take a closer look. I don't want to get stung by some science wasp. Do it, Frank. We have to see what happens. How do you feel? Oh, Wrigley! Right now, they're altering the DNA in your zombie parasites. I've only seen this kind of biology in zombies we put through Barnaby's treatment device. Oh, shit. I think I might know what's going on here. I was in Barnaby's lab. Okay. Think. Think. Barnaby's machine thing. I heard a noise, and... I must have bumped something. The humming and... and glowing and... and some other shit. Ah! 
Bad guys. about your potential value to zombie science. Yeah, okay. But you know what? I'm very excited about not having to eat people. You said something about a cure? Yes, yes, of course. But here, I'll open the gate. Take the escape tunnel out to the old town shelter. I have an idea, but you have to hurry. I'm on it. What the? Huh. There's one of Barnaby's wasps loose in the mall. Yes. Those solitary wasps are actually immature queens. Oh, so it's like a princess wasp. Cute. I suggest catching it. It's likely to have at least a small effect on your biology. Here it is! this cure. We need to use the old treatment chamber in Barnaby's lab, but we'll need a few things to get it working. And we don't have much time. Hammond is preparing to hijack an obscurus evac helicopter. We need to be on that evac, because if we're not... The Pentagon is gonna barbecue our asses. So where do we start? Head over to Dodd's Drugs. I'll tell you what to look for when you get there. I'm already on my way. I'm at Dodd's Drugs. Okay. Now grab all the analgesics you can get your hands on. You know what? Painkillers, Frank. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Next, we need the chamber's missing control key. Obscurus is holding it at Cochrane's pub. And there's something else. 
I believe you may share a hive mind connection with the immature queens. You mean Princess Wasps? If you gather all these immature queens and take them into Barnaby's chamber with you, it could have a very... Noted. I'll keep my eyes open. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who said you could throw a party? So where's this control key? Blackbird, I got the thingy. West, I am almost certain that you are the zombie that Barnaby tried to create. Disease immune, intelligent, non-aging, perfect. I could just get a sample of your blood. Nuh-uh. I'm not gonna be anyone's lab rat. We're curing me, remember? Oh. Head over to Big Buck's hardware. There's something else we need. off the back shelf. Uh, solo what now? They're electromagnet, Frank. Apparently have solenoids. What next? 
first, let's discuss the blood sample. Just think of what we could learn, Mr. West. Absolutely no way. Because first it's blood, and then it's a lot of blood, and then you're cutting out my pancreas, and I really need that. Now what do we do next? Give me another moment. Just consulting my notes. Hey, my brain is on the line here, Doc. Give me a little hustle, okay? Incoming! Fiery death! What do we need? Uh, how about some liquor? This is related to curing my little case of the shambles, right? Oh, yes. It's critical. All right. Ah! <laughs> 
Samaris. What do we actually need this for, Doctor? To toast the Nobel Prize, I'm not going to win. Oh, for fuck's sakes, Doc! We are going to cure you, Frank. But in doing so, we'll be using one of the most significant scientific discoveries of... Wait. Talk to me, Blackburn. I... I, I have an idea. But I need to consult my notes. Put a copy on a smartphone and stash it in the locker at the bus depot. Please, please find it. Hey, I'm still getting cured, right? Yes, yes. Just go. <laughs> Shit, it's Zombie Mageddon. Surprisingly, like a bus depot. This will come in handy. Got your phone. Battery's still good. Okay. Now email me all the files. Um, okay. All right, done. Thank God. Okay. One last thing. You'll have to head out to Westridge. Why? What for? A meeting with royalty. Call me when you get across the bridge. Man, for a scientist, is one hell of a dramatist. Run! 
I'm in Westridge. Blackbird! Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry. Head to the high school. There's an evil pack there. Very organized, highly efficient. I bet my life the Alpha has a queen buzzing in its head. What, like the wasp queens that they use to make Zombrex? Same idea. Much more powerful applications. Then let's crack some zombie skulls. <laughs> I should try to get a hold of Hammond. Hey, Hammond, you there? Who is it? It's Frank, listen, I'm okay. I'm only a sorta of zombie. Look, I wanna help, and I owe you more than I can count, so... Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm a keeper. You got a lot of nerve, asshole, considering how much we've all been through. This is a sick goddamn joke. Frank West is dead. Now leave me alone. Wait, Hammond, Hammond? Shit.
Your Majesty, time the royal we got out of Dodge. It's me, please, please, please! Do not shoot me! And if you do, please not there. Holy yeah. fucking shit! Yeah, I know. God, what the hell are you? <laughs> There's room for all of you inside, Frank. Like you've never seen a mutant zombie man before. I don't. Is this for real? What are you even doing here? Obviously, I'm here to help with the hijacking. Wait, where's Blackburn? What the shit? Drop your weapons and come out with your hands behind your head. We have the building surrounded. Yeah. It's obscurus. We could take them. I mean, you were just about to hijack one of their helicopters, weren't you? Frank. That was gonna be a surprise attack. We can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with armed soldiers in body armor. Shit. All right, Hammond, you cover my ass. I'll take care of him. Damn, that's not good!
We gotta talk. Obscura sure has impeccable timing. Oh yeah, perfect. Speaking of which, Blackburn. Hey buddy, how's it going? Haven't. You're, you're, you're alive. Yeah, surprised. I guess I shouldn't be. And I suppose Frank is also alive, and with you? The hell is going on here, Doc? I, I couldn't let it go. You're worth more to humanity and to me as a preserved specimen. And Hammond, I told Obscurus about the hijacking. Don't try it. You'll all die. Should have seen that coming. We're fucked, Frank. Obscurus is ready for us. I'll deal with Obscurus. You get your guys ready to hijack that chopper. I am not getting stuck in this town. Not again. Fuck that. And neither are any of you. What are you planning, Frank? <sighs> They know we're coming. Blackburn told them. We're in this together, okay? Alright, Frank. Tell me the plan. First, I'm gonna deal with Obscurus. Then, I'm gonna find Blackburn and make her cure me. You sure you don't have brain damage? Frank, Obscurus is expecting us. It'd be a slaughter. Please. I already survived death. I have a little faith. Holy shit. Okay. Keep radio open. We're ready to move when you need us. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes nothing. Come on, let's check it out. Oh, my God. 
chain of command is up in smoke. Someone's Anyone there? Avoid. I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> It's not too late to say you're sorry. What did he do? Did you kill them all? Oh, God. We're really both to blame if you think about it. What the shit are we still doing here? to sell my body to Obscurus. You had to trade the lives of Hammond and all her people. Oh, come on. It's like a Pez dispenser up in here.
Frank, I'd hate to have to shoot you in your stupid mouth. Jeez, me too. Let's just talk for a second. You are going to cure me, and then both of us are getting on that evac chopper, or I'm going to smash this window and rip you in half. You have three seconds to decide. One, two... Fine! Fine. God damn you, Frank West. We better get started. The treatment lab is through here. I'll guide you through the setup. Unfortunately, I can't enter the chamber myself. What? How stupid do you think I am? The Barnaby radiation in there is off the charts. It would be fatal for me, but it won't affect you. Oh yeah, and this doesn't smack at all of a trap. The clock is ticking. If you want your cure, you have no choice. One, two. I sure hope I live to regret this. Frank, we've arrived. Chopper will be here any minute. Will you be ready to go when it does? Just keep the engine running. All right. First thing you'll want to do is put the queen in the incubator. Uh, she does. 
does not sound happy. Hey, Frank. Whatever you're doing down there is attracting a lot of zombies. Horde's coming in fast. Blackburn, what have you done? N nothing. I, I swear. It must be the Wasp Queen. She's summoning the Horde to her defense. All right. Lock yourself in that office. Tell me what to do next. Okay. You need to turn the painkillers into an aerosol. Everything you need should be in the workstation there. There they come! Stand together! We're not going down like this. Not without a fight. You got this, Hammond. Blackburn, the aerosol's ready. Now what? Now you have to administer it to the Queen. Ah! Oh, shit! Shit! Ah! Take yourself! Ah! 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 It's done! The Queen now sounds very angry, by the way! Next, you need to plug in the solenoids. Make sure you install them right side up. Which way is right side up? I, I don't actually know. I, I'm a neuroscientist, not an engineer. One! Rawr! 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 What did you do? What you told me to do? Blackbird, what's next? Hang on, I'm calibrating. Uh, what about that light over there? It's 
blinking a lot. Bot down it, Frank. Just get in the machine. Roar. 